As I walk in the streets where wisdom speaks, she screams. And sometimes when she screams, our transgressions through her, when she screams, is spread out. And we are at a war with the law that had come upon us with the paid steward. That prostitute with many dead men who is being freed upon us by the law. Or they say all us, but only God's children are awake to it. And some favored, able to enter into heaven for a purity and salvation and redemption. That stone that the woman killed in a man and she can't move on to another relationship that won't be destroyed by that stone, that man, that soul. It has to be grinded down to a dust and risen up in the image of God's favorite archangel, able to purify by wisdom. In these trials and tribulations, they come and they say, We are John the Baptist who chooses to persecute the families of all of the archangels and kill off their families and make them our slaves. Make them our everlasting slave to grind down every stone of every female fucked upness in man that is called the fall so she can move on and have her family life and her riches and glory and fame punishing other people for her own iniquity if it not be both the iniquity of the man of the stone and the woman who had killed him or the law that had arrested an ape shit man with a child that can't carry the man's death born into the belly of that woman's womb being born into this world a man had killed himself and the law had taken part and taken from that man completely that man so well and then placing it upon another practicing law with that poor innocent child that poor innocent child that we'll see in a reflection one day in a future or in a generation's time that reflection of what that law officer did with that prostitute upon a man causing ugly stewardship upon that man and no salvation could be found in it. And it was a fruit that God could not salvage and he had no choice but to burn it or toss it away somewhere else or sell it off, throw it in the sea and destroy it and corrupt what can't be salvaged until it is salvaged through a great multitude of fish, animal, entities, nature, all kinds of things. It's one ugly stone one ugly student that is hired the stone mostly hired by centers of prostitution strippers um, the woman in Hebrews 11 31 through 40 the woman police department that's another one churches John the Baptist is the main church in Hercules time with Herod or was it Herod it was Jonah but that stone that is a ape, crazy, paranoid, screwed up mind because some woman had completely stripped it with the law, man-made law, not just man-made law, but eternal law, and the watchers in heaven who too had chosen the woman to be dominant over the man, more alpha than the man, and more omega than the man to overcome the man. And this is the unfair practice in the law, understanding this stuff that only, only man can enter into heaven. Only a childlike man, a man child, it says in Revelation 12. And the woman, the woman with her own grave that is an offering in whatever purpose, whether the law had consumed him with the steward in Genesis 44 and overtaken him and spread him out and made him weak and feeble and frail for that woman in the law, a prostitute in a strip club, 
whatever places that have women that purposely deal with sacrifice and screwing men over. It's the Bible is basically it's basically screwing men over. And, and we do it to ourselves by polluting ourselves with the woman. We put our pecker in her home and we kill ourselves from heaven and death is born and we fuck ourselves up. You see what I'm saying? And the law of practice helps them. the majority of strippers in the United States, the southern part of the United States of America, are police. This is the irony of the church coming into America, and I had written government establishing a fair church. The majority of the church in daily sacrifice are murderers, military, police officers, women personally murdered in. And they actually intend on doing it. They hire stewards to overtake them with their own graves and their own iniquities in order for a man to act out foolishly, like it reads in Genesis 44. And then uh, oath breakers, the police officers that go against themselves, understanding that the union of Jesus is half darkness which is the law and the union with jesus is half light which is the great and holy trinity above and the law that goes against jesus goes against himself and he is an oath breaker for i have read their oath i have i have been raised in a police officer family i have read their book and no officer in the law should go against another officer in the law and these people that go against themselves are highly, they're highly exalted in the churches, praise and glorified over our heads that the wicked may walk on every side. And it's a foul steward that we constantly have to listen to in our council, whatever councils that come and choose their way. They go against themselves, they go against God. And I had said that not just oath breakers are exalted, not just murderers, are exalted, but adulterers, adulterers that personally, they, they make it a note to hurt people. They, they, in, the, in the law of practice, the dark side of Jesus, through the Holy Ghost, Hades, King David Wagner, king of all 12 tribes, they break that oath, and then they are exalted in a church of daily sacrifice over it, trying to overtake us with that hired steward and nobody could do anything about it but speak truth. This is something that I've, I've written. The president, Donald J. Trump, I didn't get very far with it before I was attacked by a church. I also shared openly as a son of man on Facebook and YouTube and other places so that the people could understand the establishment between light and darkness in Hades, who comes down in the pale rider and judges with the chains of death, and through the white rider, who is gifted with that pure spirit from Hades, called the Holy Ghost, gifted from that king of all 12 tribes, King David Wagner. And the war pig, in association to Emmanuel, being pulled from the bosom of the king, for a fleshly image in this steward, being highly exalted for his oath breaking. That half law, darkness in Jesus, that half trinity in the light above where the commandments. And if we don't expose it, then the Antichrist, Omniantian one, who has no eyes, has no senses, can't hear nothing, but he has an omniscience to the mind to the very the vertebrae of our back. So forced to expose that one may make it through the evil steward who had pulled his own offering of a pig in the bosom of a king, pulled it out and wore that image for himself, being highly exalted in a church in order to overtake the mind of the true king. And these rich people, princes, 
who are rich people that come. This in a Texas is a British embassy, and I'm not afraid to speak the truth. But when I die, understanding that my reflection is in all of them and you, both dark and in light, and all of them that choose their way shall also be in the same reflection. If I speak the truth, I am safe even if they kill me.